Oh, hey, welcome to the coffee house. I'm really glad that you're here. It's good to see you. My name is Vic Bonacci. I'll be your barista today. Yeah, pardon the dust. We're still getting things ready, but as you can see, plenty of tables. So you can sit yourself anywhere you like. Um, we are still kind of in the soft launch. We haven't done the grand opening. As you can tell, we still have, have some, some things to do around here. I'm still working on that drive through, like I said. Um, and we're still looking for people to help us out. So reach out to us. Use the comments below in this video and uh, let us know what you think. How are things going so far? And is there something that you'd love to contribute? Applications are open. So today I'd like to share with you uh, our topic is that of a, a tool called the Wheel of Life. You may have used a tool like this or, or heard about it in the past and, and I want to share it with you today because I think it's a very powerful and insightful tool. It helps, helps a person find a certain balance of their life. I use it myself, especially uh, at the end of the year. I might do my annual exercise of, of looking back, kind of a retrospective to see you know, what areas of my life um, are doing well and what areas maybe could use a little bit more attention. So I'll use this intentionally, uh, like I say, at least once a year, and I might use it in conjunction with other tools. For example, Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs. Um, you don't have to just use it for yourself, though. You can also apply the Wheel of Life to, um, to a coaching client, which I, excuse me, mm, that espresso is really coming to me. Um, with my coaching clients, I'll, I'll use the Wheel of Life as as an entry point into some discussions. What we might do is uh, I'll introduce it and we'll use it as a discovery, a means of discovery to determine what we're going to talk about uh, in any given session. Uh, without further ado, let me show you what it might look like here. So uh, there we go. So as you see here on the screen, uh, we've got a circle with eight different areas outlined. You've got your family and friends, health, money, personal growth, career, and so on. And uh, starting from the center of the circle going out, there's all these dashed lines so that you can score yourself. A one or a two means that you're very low on any one of these areas. Um, six or seven means that you're relatively healthy. Of course, a 10 is, is the most, uh, the highest grade that you can give yourself in any one area. So you go and you give yourself uh, these scores and then you check for balance. Now imagine this was a bicycle tire and you had eights and nines, you know, all around. That's all great, but then you had one area that was a five. So you could imagine riding your bike and you come to that five and it's just a jolt. You know, the wheel is out of balance. Um, you can also look at these categories and say, you know, some of these are nice, but I'd like to reword them. Or, hey, significant other romance, can we split that into a few other areas? You know, whatever you want to do. Yeah, sure go for it. There's no rule that says you have to use just these eight categories. In fact, I was uh, looking online, I did a little search here, and you can see there's any number of these wheels of life going on. You know, we've got uh, people with eight categories, you know, and, and scoring themselves from the center outward. That's all well and good. And then you see other people that have added extra categories here. We've got 12 categories going on. Uh, here's one with eight. Let's see, I saw some really interesting ones in here that I might want to mimic, and there's no problem with that. Like you see, this one here we're looking at is a, is a blank one, you know, and you can label your own categories. That's fine as well. Um, I like seeing what other people are doing for their wheels of life and how they're theming them. You can get very creative with them, um, but there's nothing that says, you know, one is better than the other. It's really which one is up to you. In fact, I've kind of made my own wheel of life with the following categories here. <laughs> I call it my nine, and of course it's not a wheel here, but I've, I've got the wheel in my notebook that I like to track to because you can refer to it over time. You can see how well are you uh, bringing certain levels up or are other levels dropping over time, you can use that. But these are the nine categories that I enjoy for my own wheel of life. You see I've got family, but I've also got uh, social and friends and community. I've got physical health, but I've got mental health, spirituality, meditation, finance, and, and wealth is down here. 
career. I included mission in with my career because it's kind of where I feel like I'm at at that stage in my life. Not only do I have a career, but I start thinking, what's my overall mission? What am I trying to do? What's maybe my legacy that I'm trying to leave? Um, you see the home space environment, um, learning and growing. We talked about lifelong learning uh, in a previous coffee house visit of yours. Um, so there's really any way that you can parse the categories. The wheels that I'm looking at tend to have somewhere between, let's say, 7 and 8 up to like 10 or 12. Um, 9 worked for me, and that's what I'm going with. Like I say, I can use this with a client if I want to kind of run some kind of discovery. What are we going to talk about during a session? It's a great entry point into the conversation. You give an overview to the wheel. You give them a maybe a paper copy or, or give them an electronic copy like this. And, and let them just do a real quick grading. You know, one is the lowest score, very unsatisfactory, um, not satisfied in that area. Uh, up to a 10, meaning I'm so satisfied, I, I can't do any better. You know, I tend to give myself grades somewhere between four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, somewhere in that area. Um, anyway, that's a good initial exercise, is to let them just kind of see the wheel and, and get familiar with it. and give themselves their own marks. And then once they've done that, you can ask them, well, which of these categories are more interesting for you to talk about? Are there any surprises right now that you see? Is there, is there a certain piece of work that you really do want to do right now in this instance with me as the coach? And then we'll just spend time talking about that one area. We won't cover more than one or two in a session. Uh, typically, just one is enough. Now you can use it, as I said, on your on your own or you can use it with another person in, in a coaching relationship and certainly you can also open it up to a group you can have everyone in a group especially members of a team perhaps grading themselves their own wheel of life um, again it's not a, a grade as much as it is just a level of satisfaction and then you can have a, an open dialogue around that you can ask people what they thought you know if you see a lot of people ranking fun as something that they're not getting enough of maybe that opens up a conversation about hey is there a team building adventure something that we'd like to do together um, so i mean the opportunities are really without bounds and the tool is so simple so get it get yourself a piece of paper draw a circle and divide it into areas that's your wheel of life hey before i let you go just a quick reminder the tiny tip jar is waiting for you we've got founders gifts that are coming up and uh, we'd like to get you on board because not only can you get uh, prizes and um, thank you gifts as, as you see here, but also things like the decks of cards, the mugs, maybe some apparel is in the future, as well as some uh, non-material goods like invitations to the coaching circle or the masterminds that we're doing. Um, certainly the offer to be on a podcast with us is, is open as well. So we'd like to get you involved now while we're still in our soft launch so that you can have that pride of saying, yeah, I was there at the coffee shop in the early days, and we want to recognize you for that. Uh, anything that you can do to help us out um, gives me the ability to hire more staff, basically find people to help. Um, as I put together this content, they can go ahead and help me with some of the technical and administrative details of it. So uh, I thank you in advance for all of you who are joining. Hey, thanks for visiting the coffee house. It looks like your order is up, so have a seat and enjoy yourself. And remember to always enjoy your coffee with friends.